What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, not doing anything major today, but I did have uh, something that I wanted to install today. This is a uh, voltage converter that I picked up a while ago uh, that's going to convert from 24 volt DC to 12 volt DC. And the reason I, I'm doing that, I'm out here in my shed. Uh, if any of you have watched my videos before, you know that I, I used to be on 12 volt solar and then I upgraded to 20 vo 24 volt because of the distance that it has to travel into the house through the load center up into the attic and out to my load. It's, it's a long distance so 24 volt gives me a whole lot less voltage drop. Anyway, that's a different story. So what I need to do, I, I had these, these lights, these corn cob uh, LED lights and they were awesome but they're 12, 12 volt and so when I upgraded to 24 volt uh, obviously they no longer work without destroying them. So what I need to do is I need to wire in this converter to step down the electricity from 24 volt to 12 volt and then I can um, wire these in to work with with this switch where they used to be wired into. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I've had this thing for a little while and I just decided today while there's enough light outside to actually see um, and it's a pretty nice warm day for winter. I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing in there. So this is what it looks like. It's just a cheap little Chinese um, unit, but it'll get the job done. Uh, it handles 5 amps of uh, 12 volt power, so um, I don't know how much that will be because you're going to lose a little bit of efficiency from the 24 volt side, but um, you probably is going to use at least 3 amps, 24 volts. So uh, anyway, and then you just uh, put your wires, input and or, uh, positive negative 24 volt here, negative positive 12 volt couldn't be any simpler, and just mount it to the wall somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and then um, obviously on the output side we go into this switch, which then is already pre-wired. I already had all the wire run, but it goes to both of these uh, lights. Actually this switch goes to this light and the other one goes to that one. But anyway. Okay I'm going to take off this panel. Probably can't see very well because I don't have a lot of light. This is why I'm doing this. But I'm going to take this panel off. I'm actually going to put in another breaker so that I've got another load. Um, this is coming off of the batteries. Um, the battery bank is in here and it goes through this switch which I've turned off for safety. And it comes into this load center, which then this, this main uh, breaker goes into the house. I'm going to put another breaker here for these, these lights internally, into the shed, in the shed anyway. Alright, well it's amazing how fast it gets dark uh, now. It's, and it's not even 5 o'clock yet and I can barely see in here. It's still light outside, but anyway. So what I've done is I've put in this other breaker here. This is a double switch. Uh, breaker um, and I did that just because in case I um, you know put in another small load in the future I'll have two 15 amp breakers on there I, I had it laying around so whatever and then um, <clears throat> because I'm almost, I'm low on red and black wire I ran a yellow positive wire to the breaker and then a white uh, negative wire from the negative bus bar at the top ran it up and through, over, and up, all the way over my shelf and down over here. And the reason why I put it over here, uh, just because it was easier, because this is where I had my 12 volt um, lighting controls and everything before. And I know it's a, a longer run probably than I should do, but hey, it was easier and I'm running out of light anyway. So hopefully this works, but anyway, I've got my white and yellow wires here. I'm going to trim them up and I'm going to mount that uh, the uh, voltage converter right here. So these will be my 24 volt coming from the battery bank and then I've already got my red and black and then my my red and black somewhere over here um, for the the lights. So I'll go ahead and wire that up. Okay we're finished. Um, I'll show you, hopefully you can see here, um, it only took me about 10 minutes to wire it up, but it's, it's pretty dark in here. So anyway, 
We got the 12 volt wires, the black and reds on the right for the 12 volt side and the yellow and white are the 12, 24 volt side on the left, the input and output. So let's go ahead and uh, see what happens when we flip the switch. I've already flipped the breaker back on and the switch from the battery bank. So this should turn this one on and it does. And this, this switch right here should turn this under mount one on. Perfect. And just out of curiosity, I know you're going to ask me how many volts and everything that it's pulling. Um, this is all I've got right now because I don't have my equipment with me. Excuse me, but uh, we got 25.8 volts from the battery bank. And if I flip both lights on, it barely puts it under a tiny load. So seems to be pretty okay even with the long run of the 16 gauge wire. So we'll go with it and see how it does. But uh, now I have light in my shed again after about a year. So that's awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Until next time.